Jessica Harrington is one of Ireland's top racehorse trainers with horses Alpha Centauri and Sizing John amongst her stable of winners. I'll be spending the day with Jessica to find out what it takes to train a winning racehorse. How are you doing? Good How are you keeping? You. Thank you very much for inviting us, well, for, for allowing us to come down here this morning. All good? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's good. Be Lovely Delighted morning for it. You. We actually got the weather right. Yeah, exactly. That, that was the one thing. Yeah, you fixed that for us today, so it's not too bad. Yeah, it's all good. So what we're doing here then, what, we, what, what we're doing with the horses here then this morning, this is like to warm up for them, yeah. would it be? This, this is like a warm up. Yeah. This is, they're just, they come out, you know, they walk down here from the stables. Some of them have been on the walker first, just loose on the walker for about yeah. 20 minutes. And you'll be getting obviously an indication from the jockeys constantly speaking to the jockeys here as well, speaking to them and yeah, getting you know, a feeling for the horse as well. Well, exactly. They'll say, oh, this didn't feel good. It was a bit stiff coming out this morning. It's warmed up now. You know, and we just we take it from there. So, Kate, we've, we've been out here uh, into the ring here. Yeah. What, what, what have we, what, what have you learnt this morning, I think, before the horses are going out onto the gallops then? Yeah, just seeing what horses um, are horses that worked yesterday how they are after their faster bit of work yesterday and then horses how they've pulled out and they're going to do faster bits of work now yeah so it's generally when they're trotting in the ring there it's just their warm-up and it's generally how they're feeling for that day the, the topic of why we're here today is, is around the theme is how do you train a winning racehorse in your mind how would you how do you train a winning racehorse well if it's you know we all we all want to end up in the winner's enclosure and uh, we all have different ideas of how to get there. There's two things you've got to start with. You, it's A, you've got to have some natural ability. Yeah. Uh, the next thing is, which is very important, is for it to um, have a very good, a good temperament helps a lot because you're not then battling against, trying to outwit them the whole time. Uh, both Sighting John and Alpha Centauri have wonderful temperaments. You can. They're very relaxed. When do you know, when a, when a horse steps into your stable, how quickly or how early would you know what calibre of horse you've got? It takes time sometimes. Yeah. You know, they come in here, especially the, 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 the flat horses, they come in here as yearlings. And you don't really know until you, you get them going as a two-year-old and they, they start then, um, you know, they start doing a bit of work. But Alpha just always, she just was amazing. Yeah, she was such a big, imposing two-year-old, you know. And yeah. Then, Physically, she was just so much stronger than the others. I think last year, that like she was winning her races. But when they're so young, you don't really know what you're beating. So, mm. but as she progressed, then the, she just showed her real potential. You know? She just kept beating every horse up here. Every, she just cruised past me on the bridle, and others were just scrubbing along. And I realised then she probably was quite special. Yeah, it's the Longines um, Champion Weekend in the next couple of weeks now. So, see, so what we're ten days out, I suppose now, eleven, twelve days out, whatever it is now. Uh, expectations high. It's do you get a buzz around these particular meetings, particularly this one, with it being, I suppose, the best of the best, everything that's going into that weekend? Yeah, look, it's very important in the flat calendar that they've, you know they've made this Champions Weekend and it's really lived up to expectations. And it's two fantastic days racing. There's an incredible amount of international interest in it because it's. Um, such a good race meeting. What are you feeling like ahead of it? Are you you feel good? Everything everything good? Everything looking good with the horse? Yeah, definitely. Um, look, obviously it's a, not a big occasion. It's a Group One, which you, you never take for granted. The very yeah. hard win, but um, no, it's like, ex exciting and uh, looking forward to it. How do you feel riding her? Is it, is it is it do you get a buzz when you sit on her every single time? Oh yeah, definitely. Look, she's a very exciting filly, and I'm very grateful to ride her and. Um, yeah, look, it's very special. It's very rare that you come across a filly like that in your career. You know. Are the a few nerves then knocking around now or is it just <laughs> we're still too far out from that then uh you're a bit too far yeah. out you know we're still on just normal work and trying yeah. to sort everything out for normally i'm lucky now because even though i've got more horses now than i've ever had i'm 150 basically in the yard um, but i'm lucky because i have two daughters working for me and now my son-in-law and it's taken a lot of pressure off me i don't you know, I don't have to worry about the everyday things. Yeah. I just, I do the things I love doing now, which is basically train the racehorses. What's it like here? So the, the three of you kind of run, it's your mum and you and your sister. Yeah. What would you see your role within the, within, uh, within the yard here? Um, yeah, like I'm kind of more like mum's assistant, kind of make sure like, do you know, like um, make sure that everything's right, that it's going on, the lads are on the right horses at yeah. the right time. Like, um, it's 160 horses to organise each morning, so but I kind of try to have everything, the logistics of the day organised yeah. for then, and then Mum can have a look through, see if she's happy with everything, and then 
we'll go from there. You know, when you're working with mum and my sister, yeah. Yeah, is that complicated? Is that complicated? Yeah, it can be complicated, yeah. You can actually say what you actually, what you think and what you're yeah. actually wanting to say, I suppose. Exactly, there's no, <laughs> there's no um, errors and graces. You know what I mean? We, and we do have a few blow-ups, but if, you know, if mum or myself are paid up a few blow-ups, it's forgotten about. Yeah. yeah. There and then, and everyone gets on with their jobs. We try and let mum just get on with the training the racehorse. That's what she excels at and she loves doing. Yeah. And try and, we, myself and Kate, do the logistics and the background so she can hope to take a little bit of pressure off her. Is it, is it difficult or more difficult than working with family then? Is, is oh, well, I, I, it's got a great upside. I suppose it, it, there's more pressure because obviously in the, on the down days, you know, when we're having a family dinner after, we're all still upset and yeah, depressed yeah. about it. You know, everyone sees all the celebrations and look, it looks so amazing from the outside, but actually there's some really hard days and things go wrong or you lose a horse and, and that you've been in the yard yeah, for a couple of well years imagine, yeah. or whatever. So that's, there's, uh, it's hard and we're all very competitive we want to win and get out and be competitive um, but sometimes that just doesn't work out on the day what is your greatest achievement then I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I suppose winning a gold cup it was something always I wanted to do yeah. I always wanted to win an Irish Grand National because I was brought up in Meath and we used to go to uh, I, as a kid we used to go to Ferry House and be up at Ballyhack when they still had a bank course there and so it's sort of I have great memories of it with Alpha Centauri, I've just obviously seen the last couple of days, it's the highest rated Irish filly in the last 24, 23 years, I think it is, which is unbelievable. Talk of being one of the best, if not the best ever, um, <laughs> which, of course, yeah, that's it's incredibly right. daunting probably when you hear that, but how does that make you feel? How does um, that, when, when you're hearing those things said about her? I'm very proud of her. Yeah. Um, I'm very proud of what she's done. You know, we're all in your cog in the wheel. She's got to go out there and do it. And, and Colm's a big cog in the wheel as well. Everybody is. It's a, you know, it's not just, it's the horse and the whole team behind them. It's not just me. You know, I couldn't do it without everybody else. Yeah. And, and that is the one thing, you know, it is a team. And it's a very, you know, and if you're lucky enough to have a good team, that's what makes, I think, a great horse. You know, you just need a team behind you. Mm. And just one, one last thing, you've, for all the successes that you've had, both at National Hunt on the flat, is there anything that you have yet to achieve that you would that you would still like to achieve? Oh, there's loads. So I want to win an English Grand National, and yeah. I'd like to win a, a, an English Derby. Right. That's what I'd really, you know, there's a, yeah. there's a two, you know, real, you know, and then, then of course you'd love to, you know, just show that you can train horses abroad as well. You know, I've had a winner in France now, and but I haven't had a winner in America. I haven't yeah. actually had a runner in America yet, I don't think, and I'm just about to have, to have them. And so that would also be, you know, it'd be a lovely thing to have on the LCV. Over the last decade or so, we've seen Jessica Harrington firmly established as one of Ireland's leading dual purpose trainers. And with her family close at hand, the Harrington legacy is sure to continue.